Welcome back to Nord Tesla. Should we talk about gas prices? It's a bit of a touchy subject. A little while ago, I did a video about the five reasons to buy an EV. Check it out if you haven't seen it I'm up here. I think I referenced gas in some parts of Canada was topping $1.76 a liter. In the US, it was $4 a gallon. That was like six weeks ago. And man, we'd be lucky if we had those prices again. Where I am, it's gone from $1.50 to $1.90. And that's the American equivalent of what Californians are paying at $5.50 a gallon, which is the highest in the country. So what better time to touch on the topic of gas savings? Before I get into it, though, please take a second and subscribe. This is going to be a two-part video. In the first part, I'm going to cover strictly the gas savings over a month. And in part two, I'll cover the full cost of ownership of an EV over a year, which of course covers maintenance and charger installation, stuff like that. All right, so a little while ago, Tesla updated its mobile app to include charge stats, which shows you how much you're spending in electricity versus gas. Now, there's always been a few third-party apps capable of doing this, but they weren't that accurate because you had to manually enter your hydro rates and you can only usually pick one rate. And obviously most of us have tiered pricing depending on the time of day. And obviously there's the price of gas, which changes daily. So that's hard to keep track of. Now in the Tesla app, you can pick your hydro plan from your provider. So you'll get accurate details from that and keep track of what time you ch charge, as well as it keeps track of the gas prices in your area. So it makes for the most, probably the most accurate statistics we have available. So let's see what my stats are. All right, so if you see my stats here, I use around 735 kilowatt hours of energy, which cost me $87 in hydro this month. Now, if you do the gas equivalent, it would have cost me $554 gas, and uh, that would have been a savings of $467 in full savings. Now, uh, gas have, has obviously skyrocketed lately, but even before this uh, big increase, I was saving around $350 to $400 a month, which is great. If you want to compare to mine, my commute is about one hour one way, so two hours daily, and I roughly drive over 3,000 kilometers a month or just under 2,000 miles. And it also is mid-March and cold out, so you'll end up spending a bit more hydro than in warmer months. And I'd rather give you uh, these kind of high numbers rather than try to say how much you're saving in the summer months because then you'll be disappointed in the winter when the prices go up a bit high. So like I said, I'm a bit high side, so... If you're driving as much as me, then that's what you're probably going to get. If not, you'll probably save a little more. Now, I've looked at stats from kind of a bunch of different people. And it's really all over the place. It depends on mileage, how efficiently you drive, your cost of hydro, when you charge. There's a lot of variables to try to predict a pattern. But like I said, I'm on the high end, so expect roughly around $80 to $90. It's probably the highest you'll pay all year, and expect that to drop in warmer months. As you can see from the previous slides, most people on average will spend anywhere from about 40 to $80 on charging. And like I said, it varies a lot. So if you budget for anywhere in that range, you should be good. As you can see, there's a huge savings to be had with an electric vehicle. Most people don't get that you are charging overnight when electricity is cheapest and that you can save that much money in regards to gas. Now, I'm not saying that everyone needs to go out buy an electric vehicle today and that'll solve all the problems, or this is exactly how much you're going to save. It's just a good uh, information to have so that you can work it into your own situation. For me, I was spending, I found when I was driving my Ford Focus that I was spending around $300 in gas and it just kept going up. And that was kind of the equivalent of a Tesla payment. So instead of spending money on gas, I just put it towards a payment and a car that I can actually own. So you have to think of your situation and uh, work it into your budget and see if it's worth it for you to switch over to electric vehicle. All right, I hope this information is helpful in that regards. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and take a second to subscribe so you don't miss out on part two of the series. And thanks again for watching and we'll see you next week. It's, it's uh, a lot of people have tier pricing, so it depends on the price of time of gas, time, of, oh my God, in the winter and you need to, um, All right, so I, and you, this is well, but so most of us have tiered pricing. Let's just restart that. Should we talk about gas savings, gas, gas prices? Let's follow the script, man.
is capable of doing this, but they aren't uh, that accurate. Can't talk today. Can never talk really. All right, so data its mobile app to include charge stats. Charge stats. Include charge stats. Charge stats. They enter one rate, and the price of gas obviously changes daily. And most of us, how am I going to do this? Okay. 